we begin the build-up to the big announcement of who's won this year's two competitions as we throw the full beam of the spotlight on the next generation of superstar chefs and maitre d's. Now, they're a group of people who let their cooking and their front of house skills do the talking. This is for the first time in 30 years, everybody, we have had two Wolverine clones take part in the Nestle Top Door competition. That doesn't include you, uh, Rebecca. But he also has a tattoo of the patron saint of chefs, who you think is? St. Lawrence of Rome. Uh, I think it's an Anton of Mossiman. Um, <laughs> Dalton here could be on Love Island, obviously. Look at that wonderful thing. But Wales, unfortunately, didn't make um, the World Cup. So do you feel um, that this is your responsibility to put a smile back on the faces of the principality by winning this thing, Morgan? Yeah, definitely. But well, let's see if you can string your sentence together and complete it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair to say, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and now it's over to Angelica, who's with The Apprentices. I am. I'm with Holly and Erin, who have both said they're so pleased that you're not interviewing them, Mark. <laughs> uh, I'm over here being uh, responsibly interviewed. So, uh, yeah. You could be my agent. Please be my agent. And what about you, John? Because you were here last year. You got to the final. You're here again and you're in the final. Uh, well, I worked with Simon Holston over the summer after Talk to All, so you, know, you get great opportunities from this. But he did say to me while I was working with him that uh, there's only one thing, that lose, one thing worse than losing Talk to All once, and that's twice. Yeah, it was a new experience for me because I'm not front of house, I'm a chef, so... Oh, well, then why are you wearing this stuff then? Are you, you're an imposter. I like it because you'd prefer black. It's your colour. Erin... <laughs> is fresh from Ibiza. Uh, Millie is going off. This is another wonderful thing about Talk Door. Boyfriend Nathan is uh, competing for the UK in the Boca Store. And you're off to where the weekend? Uh, Turin. Turin. UCB off to basically just back from Ibiza. Going to Turin. Where are you going, Luke? Uh, Birmingham. <laughs> and Theodore, you know, you... you can, call me Theo. can I call you Theo? Yeah. Oh, because I feel like we know each Only other. My mum calls me Theodore. When Only I'm, your mum calls I'm you Theodore. Naughty, okay. So. <laughs> and I'm definitely not his mother. The final challenge for me was absolute highlight of the week. It just got turned up to a million and, you know, being in that environment, cooking in the clouds, delegating roles, commanding a brigade, that is where I want to be, you know. Pushing the boundaries of really good food, get it out, beautiful, you know, good service. That's, that's what I want to be doing. That's why we're all here. So. The greatest patisserie chef in the UK. Is that official? Kind of, not really. I mean, what is your official title? Uh, World Skills UK Champion in Patisserie and Confectionery. Is it fair to say you wish you were being interviewed by Angelica? Yeah. <laughs> Sitting in a room with all you amazing people for, you know, humble old me and humble old Kat from Stockport in Poland. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's really an honour and uh, I really appreciate everyone coming out and uh, thank you guys. That is what this competition is all about. Literally just broad grins here at the Dorchester amongst the great and the good of this industry. What was the second part? Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah.